Hello again. Well, there's a bit of history behind this. Uh, this is the pile PPEQ 100 graphic equaliser, which I bought on eBay and it's in pristine condition, only used once, which, which should have warned me. But anyway, um, but it said it works, but only used once. And uh, I, th I think I found out why it was only used once later. Now, a bit of history to this. When I was at university, uh, you know, this was in the 1980s, and at the time, you know, rack systems were getting very popular. And you used to get, you know, amplifier tuner, cassette deck, and anyway, um, they always had a big graphic equaliser. And, and I can remember being at university, and there's this rich kid who had this, you know, very flashy system with, you know, a 30 band each you know, channel graphic equaliser and everyone used to say you know how great his system sound it wasn't with me with my minimalist you know QED A230 no tone control amplifier I used to think well no, it doesn't so, but I, so I used to get I used to get a bit irritated by that and, and the other thing I used to get irritated by was was you know his tendency to boost all the signals by sticking everything up so I boost everything I've got over that now. Anyway, so what, what happened was, um, you know, I'm in the shed and I'm thinking, oh, it's a bit bass heavy in here because it's, it's quite small. And, and um, so I thought, well, you know, maybe things have changed. You know, you get Dirac Live and Odyssey. So I bought, I bought this. Um, as you can see, it's a fairly small, lightweight system. Around the back, you've got four sets of stereo RCA inputs and two outputs which are marked REC out. You know, I, I, I'd assume that um, one of these was, you know, non equalized and one was, but I'm not sure that's the case. Um, I think they both go through the equalizer system if you press down the, you know, there's a direct equalizer button here. The other four controls are four top buttons are for the four inputs and lastly there's a power button and you know I think this is why they stopped using it and it's certainly why I stopped using it because when you press the button you get that you're right you know it's like you know 22 blimmin lasers flying at you and there is a there is a sort of a you know a a system here where you can have you know sort of dancing lights but you know overall you know it's incredibly distracting incredibly bright and, and why they did it I don't know but they, they seem to do a lot you know it, um, with regard to the, the graphic equalizing function it it certainly works the trouble is you know these are maybe about an inch in height so and, and also if there's the center indentation so you know you can it's very difficult to fine tune it. You know, you can do sort of, you know, for, for, for I suppose somewhat grosser sort of, uh, uh, you know, adjustments, it's okay. But but for fine tuning, uh, I, I didn't think it was it was a great. I don't think you can hear it also, but it's it's got a definite hum. Now it's not so bad in here, but you know, in my small shed, it it, it it's definitely distracting. And that, that's, you know, I can feel it kind of buzzing as we, you know, as we speak. So overall, you know, I, it, this is, you know, one of the, the few things I, I really regret buying it. Because I have to be honest, I haven't given it a, a great deal of use and testing because I find that so incredibly irritating. So there we are, that, that, that goes down as a failure. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.